One, two, three, right, okay. Let me show you the difference. It's really noisy area. But understanding the difference between off-grid, hybrid, and on-grid. This is an on-grid power hub. This is a 215 kilowatt on-grid. So of course it's much cheaper. You see here we've got 100 kilowatt of PCS. And you look at here, the electrical connection, it's very simple. You haven't got the complicated electronics. You haven't got an STS. You haven't got a lot of the stuff is missing because this is used for grid stabilization or for basically for grid trading. So it's a very simple system. You've got your 215 kilowatt battery. You've got your mains breaker here. You've obviously got all your protection stuff. If you've got your, you've got your EMS energy management system here, but the system itself is much simpler. And you can compare this one as being an on-grid system and compare to what I've just showed you and explained about an off-grid system. They're very different beasties. And some people looking at our pricing say, oh my God, you're more expensive. But they're comparing with an on-grid to an off-grid. Of course, there's a huge price difference. So this is a very nice, it's a much simpler product. You see here, like, it's, it, the connection is the same. It's got the transform, it can have the transformer and no transformer. But it's a very, very simple product. So this is why I'm demonstrating the difference between an on-grid system and an off-grid system. As you can see, it's still got the HVAC system. It's still got the cooling, forced air cooling. Uh, I love forced air cooling. Yeah, I know everyone knows me, but I'm a real fan of forced air cooling. Because, you know, in a lot of Europe, you don't really need cooling, especially in the UK, because it's always cold and raining, a bit like Hong Kong. So this is it. Look at the difference. Understand it. But from a wiring point of view, all you've got here is your, your three-phase connections, three-phase neutral air, wiring to it. You have two configurations. If you're wiring in certain countries, like the Philippines, you may be on a delta grid, you haven't got a neutral. For the UK or South Africa, you're a star grid, and so you have a neutral. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And this unit here is actually running, it's working, it's functioning. Okay, thank you.